Welcome to Happy Painting. Oh, I got a new little friend this morning. His name is Pidgey. Yes, that's apropos for baby pigeon. He fell out of his nest, so we took him in the house and we've been feeding him and he's he's about ready to fly, right, Pidgey? He doesn't know he can fly yet, but he's ready to fly. Yes, where are you gonna fly? You can't sit there while we're working. You have to go back where you live. <laughs> okay, say goodbye. Oh, Pidgey loves me so much, he doesn't want to say goodbye. We'll bring you back another day, okay? Okay, that's Pidgey. He's cute, but he can't stay. We're going to paint a nice painting today. I'll tell you with the landscape. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, this is Little Squirt. This is my buddy, Little Squirt. He comes with me wherever I go. Right, Squirt? And you are going to be a good boy today. This canvas, it's 16 by 20, and I've got it primed with a black gesso, which I... I put on with a sponge and a, and a foam applicator and I let it dry and then after that dried I have liquid clear on the bottom and I have what they call liquid white on the top so that I have a wet canvas now that we have a wet canvas we're ready to go the sky let's do the sky first um, I've got a nice big two inch brush and I'm going to just start up in the top of the sky now now you think I'm really crazed I know because that is orange, okay. and it is going in the top of the sky. And then I think I'm, now this orange, I made with cadmium yellow and bright red. And I mixed it together and I made myself a little bit of orange. And as I put it over the liquid white, it's just picking up the liquid white and kind of blending on the canvas. What do you think, Squirt? An orange sky too scary for you? It might be too scary for Squirt. I this is a very inter the colors in this picture are really very interesting. You got to get a little brave though. This is a certainly a bravery test for the day. Okay, our sky. I'm going to pick up a little dark sienna. That's a, kind of a light brown tone. I added it to the orange, and let me just put a little of that in there. Dark sienna, bright orange. Good morning, Squirt. Squirt's really my buddy. His cage is in my bedroom. Every The first thing I hear every morning is, Good morning. I love you. He talks like the Dickens, that little bird. But he has never talked on camera yet. But that might happen. Who knows? Okay. So. That's a good beginning. I think I'm, I'm going to switch to a dry brush now to do my blending. So a clean dry brush will do the job. This is a one inch. Are you going to you going to chew things today? And let's just let's just smooth the color out so there's a nice little transition. We'll ignore that little hair. Okay, I got it. So have you been painting yet? That's what I want to know. I want you to write me and tell me how you're doing. You could be having so much fun. In and this is really easy. Anybody can do this. I, that I guarantee. Anybody who wants to can do this. And um, I'm going to send you the directions for this picture and a list of all the materials you'd need to paint it. All you got to do is send me a, a stamped, self-addressed envelope and my address will be on the screen at the end of the show and I will send you the directions for this picture and you can be painting this at home I'm gonna put some undercolor under under my black there now so I'll have to switch to a clean brush what I have here is phalo blue and phalo green together and that's what I'm going to run across the bottom of the screen phalo blue you can't see it phalo blue and phalo green are uh, translucent colors that means you can see right through them so you can't see it but I know it's there and it will pop up later that old pop-up theory yeah it will pop up later and I'm picking up a little more fail green we'll put that on there squirts very interested in this huh right you very interested I'm, I'm just gonna throw a little of this phalo green it's a real mystery isn't it huh that's okay. It's a, a mystery to me, too. Oh, I, I have kind of an idea where I'm going. 
I'm never too sure where I'm going, but I sort of have an idea. Uh, the clean little blending brush I was using, this little one inch, I'll just come in where the two colors meet. I'm doing a little X, little X stroke. And I'm going to bring the green into the orange and the orange into the green. Kind of work on that a little. We'll do it here too. So that the edges, so I'll get the edges. There might be some little mystery trees back there. That's, that's, that's for mystery trees. Right, right square. We have mystery trees back here. Yeah. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Mystery trees, mystery trees. Yay. You like mystery trees? Okay. So, so I'm blending the green and the orange, kind of getting a little soft edge. Oh, honestly, squirt. We have a peanut for squirt. We always have a peanut for squirt. It's just a matter of when we should break it out. Should we wait till there's real trouble? Huh? Squirt, I'm going to wait till there's real trouble. I'm just going to soften a little edge a little more. A little soften this edge a little more. Oh, ooh, that's... What fun you can have. This is really neat. I'm picking up a little dark sea. Whoops, that was a little blue jumped in there at my accident. That's all right. We'll manhandle that till it goes away. Oh, and, that, and that's mystery bush now. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now right in the middle, this is my dark foliage area, and I want it really dark right in the middle. So I'm going to come back in with some darker phthalo green, phthalo blue, and I've really got a little Van Dyke brown in it. And I'm just going to put it where I want things to be dark. We could even smash a little in here. That would be, this is the ground bushy stuff. Every time I come to that side of the canvas, I do get in trouble. You've noticed that. My little buddy. Well, is this a good peanut time? Huh? So far, so good? Here you go. And I'm just kind of just tapping in a little. That's going to be a little, I don't know, maybe trees, maybe bushes. We don't know. We don't know. And then maybe go in there. Maybe that's a little bush. And I'm just, I take, I'm taking the edge of the brush and just tapping into the canvas with a little, kind of a little push up. And those are my far away little bushes. Real easy to do. Oh, look at the peanut mess coming down today. And I might even put a little of that. Might be a tree over here. There might be. There might be a tree over there. There might be, ooh, there might be a big tree sticking up there. There is now, I'll tell you that. Okay. So, I basically got my background in place. Better quit while I'm ahead, huh? So one thing I have a trouble with is knowing when to quit. That's my background. I always start with the background, and now I'm going to move forward. Trees. Trees are next. Um... My filbert brush. I love this filbert brush. That's what I'm going to put my trees in with. And I'll load the filbert brush with some. These are the dark, these are far away trees. We're not up front yet. I'll load it with some dark sienna. Now maybe just give it a little tap of. Um, this is the orange that was on the sky and the dark sienna that's brown. It's got a little orange, it's got a little brown on it. And this is, uh, get, better get brave. These are big trees. Don't get scared. Big trees. Okay. And I'm just going to, these are big and they're, and I'm just, there's uh, one's fat and one's skinny and, and we don't want them to be too straight and we don't want them to be too evenly placed. Let's see, we'll put another one here. Maybe straighten out that top a little. Oh, there's a little green from below. That's okay. I don't care. Let's see. And maybe one more over here, a big one, a big one, and maybe a littler one next to it. Not so straight, we'll make that a little crooked. Okay, okay, Squirt, we're having a good time. What are you doing? I'm always afraid when I can't see you, Squirt, what you're doing. So you stay right there while I can keep my eye on you. Squirt talks like the Dickens. I bring him to all my classes 
He, he, he talks, he entertains everybody. Of course, it's not likely he's going to entertain us. He doesn't have a union card. He refuses to talk on air. Okay, so we got some interesting little trees in there. Picked up a little of the green pooch, and that's okay. Now these trees, we're going to put some little twiggies on these trees. So I'll go for the same dark sienna I had. And I, I thin the paint down with some thinner. This paint is nice and thin now, and I have my nice little little liner brush. And, and uh, we'll call these little pine trees with downies. I call these my downies. Some pine trees have uppies and some have downies. I think probably out west most of the pine trees have their branches hang down. In the east, I kind of think they hang up, but we'll just do a few of those. Let's see, maybe over here, maybe over there. Oh, you can have fun with your twiggies at home now. You can take your time, make all kinds of little things. These aren't too dark. These are these are still our faraway trees, right? So they're not exactly the darkest that we're going to get in this picture. So let's go do a little over there, a little over here. So this is picture number 18. You have to remember that when you write to me. Tell me you want picture number 18 so I'll know. So I'll know. Yeah. And you ought to tell me what you'd like to see me paint, you know. If you want to see more seascapes or if you want to see... Well, we could do florals too if you want to see that. And I'm just waiting to hear from you, that's all. Now, let's see. When should we quit, Squirt? Now, on those trees right there that are in the dark place, I have a, a trick of my own for them. I'm just going to get some thin down. This is some white and some orange. And I thinned it with a little thinner. Um, I'm going to put a little light. Of course, it picks up the dirt really fast. We'll put some little light twiggies there so we can see them. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so I took up painting. My kids grew up. I found I at last had a, had a life other than child rearing. And I had the time. And I took up painting, and it's a whole new world. You know, life does not end when the kids leave the house. That's for sure. Might be a few little twiggies in here. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo. Might put something on that little guy. And this is this is re relaxing and it's fun. It's not. I'm not working hard at all. You think of it just as having a good time. And you could be doing this too. Yes. Okay. We've got we've got loads of twiggies on there. We got our trees on there. Where should we go from here? Oh, I can see. I could see a nice big tree right there. And I'm probably I'm going to use this filbert brush again. I just wipe off the wipe off the brown. The next big tree I want to put in, I really want it to be white. In fact, I'm thinking of a birch. Oh, if it comes out looking like a birch tree, it's a birch tree. And if it doesn't, then it's not. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing about painting. No one knows what it is you painted until you tell them. So, so, whatever you tell them it is. Okay. Now we got this. We got this pollution coming up. It's all that green under there coming up. That's okay. I'm just decided I can live with that, and we'll just have to manage. Um, it, it it can be pretty tricky trying to get a white tree on top of a dark canvas, but we can do it, right, Squirt? We can do it. Maybe just maybe one more of those. Okay. Now I'm going. Now I want to get that a little whiter, so I'm going to go for it. Um, I've got this is liquid white actually I have on the brush, and I just want to get a little of that to come off. Oh. Not so easy when it doesn't want to come off. Liquid white. This is just a light touch to get the paint to come off the brush. The paint 
doesn't want to come off the brush because of all the paint that's underneath it. But it will. Kind of just lump it on there a little. Right, it's so quiet. Oh, my little buddy, no talker to me. So, because little Pidgey we found out in the yard, he fell out of his nest. And we took him in. I've been feed, hand feeding him scrambled eggs. Little, little Pidgey loves scrambled eggs. And he's doing quite well. I'm sure, he, I know he's going to live now. Almost ready to fly. Almost. He's starting to take over the kitchen, so he's going to have to have an outside home soon. Because I can't get him off me, you know. He wants to be on me. Oh. Now these little branches, these are our little, these are our little birch tree branches. I'm making them, I'm just making them with liquid white, straight liquid white. Oh, a little bit of thinner, thin it out. And we'll just add some of those. You know, it's the colors in this picture that make it so, so different and unique. Phalo green and phalo blue. Because you got to look out for them. you got to look out for that blue and that green. That's, they're, they're powerful colors and they will get all over you and they will follow you home. Uh, so. When am I done, Squirt? More, 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 more. These little twiggies, these are the one, these are the things you can take your time with at home and have a good time doing. I always, I, I thin out the paint, I load my brush nice and neat, I, I got a nice point. I start at the bottom and I shake as I go up. That's my little trick. Um, but I've had my students, they make their twiggies different ways. Some start at the top and go down, I've seen that too. And that works, you know, it all works. That's what's wonderful about wet on wet. So. We might call that done. Now under these trees, I see a nice little dark bush line. I'm gonna go for that. I've got my oval brush. It has a nice round top. This brush was made for bushes. It's a natural. I'm gonna load it with my dark stuff. It's phalo blue, phalo green, Van Dyke brown. And I'll tap it in there. Give it a nice little snow pile up. And we'll say that there's little bushes here. So this is like a, just whop off the bottom of those trees. We never wanted all that anyway. Okay, here's the bush. And there might even be some over here. And gee, if you don't like the tree, your bush could get bigger at, at any given time. There might be some over here. And and I know there's gonna be some over there. Okay, well, there's our nice little bush line. Okay. And we can highlight that. We can highlight that bush line. And I would do that. Actually, I'd get the, I've got another clean oval brush. I'm going to go into some orange. I made the orange with cadmium yellow and bright red. I'm going to, I'll pick up a little liquid white just to thin it down a, a tad. Load the brush and come in here and decide where where the little tops of the bushes might catch the light from the sky. That's the plan. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It's just, when I'm highlighting, I think it's just a little kiss. I hardly touch the canvas, and I go for the top of the bush, and I hardly touch the canvas. And if I see a round spot, I want to shape the bush, I'd be touching that, and I'd say, well, that's 12 o'clock. And come over here and do a little 10 o'clock hit. And then come down here and do a little 2 o'clock. And that's how I get myself into a nice round shape. You don't want them all to be the same. You want to kind of make a little variation. But I do head for the tops first. And then I travel around. Well, that might be enough of that for now. Um, I have some water down here. You didn't know that. I knew that. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, take another one inch. 
and put a little titanium white on it. Not much. A little. Actually, there's a little orange in there, too. And if we pull down, I'll start in the middle. That'll be my brightest spot. And I'll do a pull down and kind of work my way over to the edge. Maybe I'll put a little more paint on there. Start in the middle again. Work my way over to the edge. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's my little water. I can make reflections out of that. We'll get a nice, I always like to use a two inch for reflections. This is clean and this is dry. And just give it one wipe across. Oh, maybe two, maybe three. And that'll put your shimmer in your water right there. Now we can put some water lines in that water. I will use, I'll use my little knife and I'll use liquid white. In fact, I'll use liquid white, but I still have a little orange in it. I like to pick up that orange from the sky. And I've got a little roll of paint on the knife, and I'll put the paint on the bottom and just start scraping where the land meets the water. Where the land meets the water. Well, I have to tell you, I've never been happier in my life than when I'm painting. And, and and so could you. That's why I want you to get started. And don't think for a minute that you can't, that you won't be successful. Um, because it's not a great mystery. It's mostly technique. It's mostly getting familiar with the tools and the paint and the little bird. Well, you won't have to contend with that, right? Don't eat the paint. No, no. So if I load this... If I, I load this knife, I could come in here right in the water and kind of scrape and travel towards the end of the canvas. It's on the level. You know, water lines are always on the level. We don't want them going uphill or down. But you get here and kind of travel. And that'll put the ripples in the water for you. That's really nice. Couldn't be easier. Right, Squirt? I travel around. I do a lot of senior citizen centers. And boy, they have the best luck with this technique. Yeah, it comes out so nice. Uh, I'm, fl I'm, I'm, I'm going to flatten this out. I wasn't sure I liked it. I just flattened it out. So I guess we like it now. Hey, you little dickens. What are you doing? Hey. No, no. No, no. I guess it must be peanut time. Gee, we're starting a bad habit, huh? Misbehave, get a peanut. That'll do it. So I've got my water and my ripples in and my bushes. Now I can ri Now I can play around if I wish. I could add, I can add more, more twigs to that tree, or twigs anywhere I want. Let me see. I think I'll go for some dark ones. Um, this is my dark stuff, thin down with thinner. I've got my little liner brush. And I might see some nice little twiggy trees in here. Okay, I've got to reload the brush. I love to get that last little, I love to get that last little branch out of the brush before I reload it. But to tell you the truth, it's not the best thing. You should really just come back and reload your brush more often. So you don't get yourself into the pickles that I get into. Let's see, there might be something back here. And there might be something back there. Whatever you want them. I make it up as I go. Yeah. There's no, I never have a, uh, I, I have a kind of a general plan as to what colors I'm going to use and what the scene generally looks like, but the rest, believe me, just happens on the canvas. The best way, I mean, if, if you're trying to copy a picture exactly, you're just going to give yourself, uh, as they say, Ajna, you're better off to have a general idea and then just play with color and shapes and and make it up. Right, Square? We make it up. Yeah. Of course, I never paint the same picture twice. That's one of those things. Um, I do a paint. If I do a painting over, it usually looks entirely different than the first one. Of course, it's kind of like you can never walk in the same river twice. Right, square. So I got more twiggies. I know what would be really nice in this canvas. I'm going to load it up with the, with that same dark stuff. I think it needs a few little birds. What do you think, Squirt? I'd like to brace myself on the side of the canvas. Could be very tricky. And now over here, I, that will, I'll brace myself down here. Let's see. 
These little birds, they're just, I call these the M birds. If you load your liner brush nice and neat, and you just kind of draw an M. I go down, I stop and rest a minute, and then I go back up. It's that rest in the middle causes the little body to happen. Maybe there's another one down here. Okay, so we got our little birds and we got our twiggies. This is looking very good. We could do we could do a little bit more with that birch tree. And for that, for that, I'm gonna go into white. Gee, maybe I'll put some orange in it. That was working before. And and tidy this little guy up. Squirt, are you destroying the painting? It is possible that you are. Jesus, we'll have to bring baby back next. Bring, we'll, we'll replace you with a cockatoo, you know. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll bring a cockatoo into the picture. You can go to Florida. Well, if he ever talks for us on the air, that'll be an event, boy. We'll have to celebrate then. This little guy. So I'm adding more, more twigs to my birch tree. And I might be thinking about calling this done. What do you think, Squirt? You chewed up the little edge. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. Yes. I'll tell you. It's not easy working with all the little critters. We have a farm here. We have just about one or two of everything that walks and squawks. And then we take in all kinds of strays and homeless critters. That's how it happens. So, I think that's it. And I think I'll call that done. And this is an easy, easy little landscape. But what's unusual about it is is the colors, the orange sky, the phalo green and the phalo blue really gives you that punch. You're going to like this one. Don't let your bird chew the corner. That'll never work. Right, Squirt? So I want you to get painting and I want you to have a good time. And I want you to stop painting with me. So this is painting number 18. Watch for the address. Send me a self-stamped addressed envelope and I'll send you the directions to this picture. And I'll be back, so be looking for me. Bye-bye.